Yo everyone, what's up? Kevin from Epic Gardening here. Today we're going to take the world's smallest net pot and a spring water bottle, just an empty bottle. Probably shouldn't be buying these, but given that you have a couple of plastic bottles laying around, we will figure out how to repurpose this for the garden. So we're going to combine these two and we're making a really cool little DIY Krat key hydroponic system that you can use for propagating, you can use for growing you know, basil and herbs, maybe even a lettuce plant. I find it's really nice for propagations for house plants too. So this video, that's what we're doing. It's sponsored by CZ Garden, who is the maker of these tiny little net pots. He makes a bunch of other stuff as well, really heavy duty net pots that I'm really a fan of. Just these tiny little tweaks and modifications on standard hydroponic equipment that you always think like, oh, this could be a little bit more durable or this could have a bend in a different direction. And that's pretty much what CZ does. So all this stuff's available on Amazon. Say thanks to him for sponsoring the video. Let me bring stuff like this to you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get building. First things first, we are going to take off our little label here. And that's just because I don't think it looks very nice. So I'm just gonna clip that off and then, I mean, honestly guys, the construction of this, it's DIY for a reason, it's simple for a reason, it's just very easy to build. Now, what I noticed is on most bottles, it's not gonna go all the way in. And so, what I'd like to do, and also kind of looks nice, gives it a little bit of a more clean look, is I come in with my little Fiskars micro tips, come around and just cut in, and just cut the whole top off. Uh, so then this can sit really nice and flat in there and it just looks nice and clean. And then from there, we're more or less done, and I'll, I'll, I'll definitely talk about a couple different modifications, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut some basil and do a little basil prop in this video as well. So there you have that. Then this will sit right there. Looks really cool. And then what we'll do is we'll wanna fill the water up to about there with some hydroponic nutrients and water. And let's go ahead and take our prop. Alrighty, I've got some basil here. I've done plenty and plenty of videos on how to propagate basil, so I'm not gonna get too crazy here. But what we'll do is we will cut right there at a 45 degree, right below the node, and then we'll take it inside to the shed. First thing we're gonna do here is take off most of this vegetation because it's simply a bit too much for this basil plant to support when we've taken a propagation. So we're gonna cut that off cut this off and actually I'm probably gonna cut it right there I think I got a little bit too much and then we'll take off these larger leaves here as well and that should be good so now we got a nice little basil prop use some of this in my salad now let's pack up our net pot so I've got a little bit of a coconut core worm castings mixture here and we're just going to Pack this in nice and tight. Obviously not over packing it, but just making sure we get enough in there. And as it's a super small net pot, remember you don't really need a ton. Just a baby amount. And then we'll slide our basil prop in. We'll pack around. And I think that's pretty much it for the propagation process. Basil being a pretty easy propagator, guys. So let's go ahead and put it in the system now. Well, there we have it. Again, like I said, a pretty simple system here. And you'll notice that the water is almost right exactly at the bottom of the net pot. So it just barely wicks up into this coconut core and we're gonna get really nice results from this basil. And then of course, once it propagates, what you can do is you can just switch this out for hydroponic nutrients maybe even put a little dome on top, a lot of different modifications. So guys, the smallest crack key system with the little net pot. Again, these are from CZ Garden. So a couple things that you can do to modify this, if you'd like, you can actually just cover from here down with maybe cardboard sheet, piece of paper, any sort of scrap paper, because you're going to make it opaque at that point, which is kind of what you want. You know, once the roots start to develop, you want to protect the water and the roots from light because they're typically used to growing underground, right? And, you know, algae growth can also be a problem if you have hydroponic nutrients in here. I just have water right now. Should be fine, especially as the basil has not yet rooted because we just took the cutting. Um, but yeah, in the future, you may want to do that. You can even cut a thin strip down. And so you have a water line without having to expose the whole thing. And so, 
you know, here's just one way to use this. I could also see you building a, a system that uses many of these at once, and then you have like a little propagation station going on, perhaps, you know, doing a hole saw in the top of a system and then plopping a bunch of these in and using it as a DIY cloner, you know? Some of these cloning kits that you can get online are pretty expensive. If you buy just a couple of these little net pots and then drill it into like a Rubbermaid tote with some sprayers, you can get a really nice cloning system as well. So again, thanks to CZ Garden for sponsoring the video. If you guys have any ideas on how to best use these guys, anything that maybe I haven't thought of, please let me know down in the comments. Quick one for you. I like doing these basics, super simple videos. Um, and if there's anything else you'd like to see, again, leave it in the comments. Catch you on the next one. Good luck in the garden and keep on growing.